Good evening, everyone. My name is Keith Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where you guys told me yesterday, you like a lot of you, you were like, Code, you clickbaited. It's not even there. It's not. <clears throat> okay, first off, if I did clickbait, I would totally own it. But I didn't, okay? I did not clickbait. And for each and every one of you who is sitting there being like, Coach, oh, click just... <clears throat> Well, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna come up. Oh, 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 gosh. Don't click notifications while you're driving a truck in lumber. Jeez. It just throws you right off the road there. All right. Talk, 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 talk. I just, I just want to, to like take a moment. I, I said I wasn't going to play lumber. I said I wouldn't come back unless there was an update. There was an update, and I did come back. But then everybody and their mothers and family and grandma is like, "Code's back in lumber, dude." I'm serious. I was just coming back for like a singular event, and this is it right here. Like, this is the event. This is the update, right here. You guys can't see it, right? You're like, Code, what, where's the road? I will show you where the road is. In fact, hold on, display, cut. So this is the video from yesterday. I want you to watch this, okay? This this is why it was not included. Watch, watch. Hey dude, you got things falling off your base. It looks like his, uh, his base was attacked. Anywho, hey, mm, I can't see what they're saying. It's completely off. Anyhow, um, update. Yes. So there has been an update, and in fact, I can go and show now, if you, it. To if you, you guys room. look, as long as I can find, there's no again. walnut trees there. About and I, I start talking about the walnut trees. And one like, cut. Okay. So right down here, boom. Updated 6-13-2022. Um, if we go and we look in the change log... See, I'm not, I'm not even here. Think... I think that's just throwing it off. So anyhow, this is me walking around inside the actual Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, you can look up in the corner. I was playing with Electro and with um, Delray and with Jimeculus. I always call him Jimmy because I can never remember Jimeculus. Anyhow... Um, it's it's true. It, like it was there. I did it. I played, and it was there. And everybody starts to code. You, I've been watching you for six years, and I've I've never seen you clickbait, sir. Well, excuse me. I didn't. I just happen to have the clip where it didn't come through all the way, and it it ruined it. It ruined the opportunity for me to like show it to you. In all of its glory, and that's the road. So, I hope that clears up a little bit. The next thing I kind of want to bring your guys' attention to... Let me close this down real quick. <sighs> Why? I, d I don't understand. Like, I know you guys like lumber, okay? And I know that my like fan base is based on lumber. But 4,000... Hold on. Is it 4,000? 4,400 views. 4,400 views total. Like, it, that is 4,000 more than normal. Like, here's my analytics for it. <laughs> Just, holy cow. I spent a lot of time working on that, uh, the Blocksburg um, storm, you know? And it was like 15 minutes every single day for like an entire week and like it maxed out at 500 views per each one i do one update video on lumber and you guys destroyed it within the first two hours i had more views on that this video on a lumber video than i had in let's see yeah then all five of those other videos all five of my my Bloxburg storm just it's ruined <laughs> like I'm almost motivated to come back in here and play lumber but I don't know what I would do 
Like I'm I'm out of ideas and I'm out of I can't go and play in public servers. They'll destroy my bases. You you guys know it. And, and I mean even those of you who watch me and are exploiters, because I know you are my fans as well. I've got fans who don't exploit, I got fans who do exploit, I've got fans who couldn't even tell you what exploiting is. <clears throat> but the point being, like should I come back to lumber? Is this is this what you guys are telling me? Should I be on my way back in to playing this game? I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. It's kind of frustrating. It's it's a lot frustrating, you know? Trying to just figure out what to do cuz I I enjoyed playing Stanley Parable, but I stopped because Markiplier and Jacksepticeye had already blown through it and did like the entire series. And they were doing two hour episodes, which I should never compare my videos to somebody else. That's just not something that you're supposed to do. But <clears throat> this was the Thanksgiving dinner, wasn't it? Man, that was that was fun. Anyhow, that's all I needed to come in here and say, but I mean, I've still got quite a bit of time left. Should I do something that's clickbaity? Ba ba click like, does it, does it help to clickbait? I can't even tell anymore. Come on. Can we just lift and lift? Lift and go! I'm kind of wondering if he had done anything at the tops of these mountains. Probably not. Probably not. Um, had a really good day at work today. If you guys are interested in that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Opa. Okay, we'll just go down and get it again. Oh, come on. There we go. So, today at work, I finally got the uh, configuration page for um, some admins finished up. <clears throat> Basically, it's a, it's a way of, like, adding or subtracting categories to a humongous cell sheet. And you can also um, put in subcategories for each one. And you tie those to uh, basically a different source file. Um, anyhow, the it, what it does is it's a, an entire reporting um, software that will give you an idea of whose um, whose customers are making the most sales. Like, hey, yeah, you, you, this customer here. You sold him X amount of widgets, but you didn't sell him any of this. And that's great that you sold these many widgets, but those widgets only have um, a gross profit of like 2%. Whereas you've got other ones that are 16%, which means you can sell less, but make more money. Basically, it's, it's just a tool that I created and made. By the way, for those of you asking what programming languages I do that in, HTML, JavaScript, jQuery, uh, CSS, uh, SQL, and Cold Fusion. Those are the main ones that I use. Now there's a there's a lot of other stuff like Ruby on Rails and <sighs> Python, Visual Basic, Visual C plus plus. Visual C Sharp. That's what I should do. Oh, I should do some programming. Hmm. If I've got enough time, I might. But as for tonight, that's probably not going to happen. Just because, uh, by the way, um, we celebrated my wife's birthday. Yay! And we got to go out and see Jurassic Park. Uh, the new one. Uh, world domination, Jurassic Park, world domination, something like that. Is this brick covering something? What's 
What is this land piece covering up? Oh, it's just like a really big brick. Now there's stuff down there, but I think that's part of the swamp, isn't it? Oh, it's down below. Okay. Well, let's walk over there for a second. This feels like the olden days of uh, long planking all over the place. I am hoping, and this is this is just my hope. <clears throat> I hope that the um, that road that we saw is going to be to a boat shop. No promises, and I know it's been billions of years, and we're still saying it. Here's the thing, and I'm just going to say this out loud. Defaultio, Josh, he all the time, every time, says the game is for the fans, and the fans choose what happens. It's it's for the fans. The fans make the decisions. If that were the case, Josh, we would have boats by now. Because the fans have been screaming about boats since day one. So I would like to um, <clears throat> take and say that your statement is false. This game is not about the fans. I love that you'd like to think it is but there have been so many suggestions there's been a cry for help there's been screams please fix it do something and they're they're okay <clears throat> electro i've read your comment saying no 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 it wasn't electro sorry oh well, my apologies oh gosh i was about to yell at the wrong person ender i've seen your comment and your comment was um if Josh were to try and fix everything, it would require an entire rewrite of the game. Fine. I'm I'm down. I'm ready. And if it's a lack of motivation or something like that, may this video be a, a push in that direction to fix Lumber Tycoon 2, to, to correct what has been done. Better yet, you know what? Stop restricting everything. All the axes of the past, all the gifts of the past, all this stuff that is non-obtainable unless it's been hacked in, put it in the game somewhere where you can buy it. And then what need would, I, would anybody need to try and dupe wood or bring stuff in? Then it would, like, if anybody could just go and buy an alpha axe, a beta axe, and there was no restriction on it, like... Oh, sorry, you didn't get to play during this time. The economy's ruined. I mean, we've already seen it. We've seen all the dupes. We've seen the base drops. You can go to eBay and look it up online. You, you can look up base drops on Lumber Tekken 2. Pay somebody like 10 bucks and they, they'll hack in all the stuff. Which is wrong. It is immensely, utterly wrong. But, you know what? We need a fix. It, it needs to be fixed. I want it to be fixed. <sighs> and that's not trying to betray Josh or go against Josh's will or whatever Josh wants. Like, it's his game. But, it, it needs... It needs some love. Big time. And I know that you guys really do enjoy these videos where I'm, I'm just talking and walking and kind of exploring all around. But honestly, what am I doing? I've been over these rocks billions of times. There's nothing new over here. I've been all the way to the end of this peninsula and I know where that road leads and where it ends. I've seen all of this stuff. A puzzle. Josh, you were asking the other day, what should I put in? What update do you want? A puzzle. <clears throat> you did a great job with us trying to figure out the, uh, the, oh gosh, the Squidward painting. Because that had boxes and puzzles and you had to figure out a binary, um, or a, a pixelated image through all the numbers and the colors. That was a good puzzle. Another great one was the uh, the Ready Player One um, red herring, the, the 
thing that you put in there to throw people off the path. That was a really good secret. <laughs> Just, that's what we need again. The rookie axe, you know? Hiding clues around. That's what the people want. That's what we want. And those of us who are brand new to the game, like, <clears throat> here's one of my favorite things about Lumber Tycoon 2. When you first get to the game, it's all about lumber. You, you get an axe, you chop the wood, you start building your your base, you buy the land, and it's it's lumber. It's the lumber game, right? It's That's the Lumber Tycoon 2 portion of it. But... Once you start getting in, you start seeing these different axes and these different things that people have, and you're like, wait, what's this bulletin board over here? What is, what is, like, there's such another layer to the game. Besides just playing lumber. That's what I like. I like that extra. Those hidden Easter eggs, those, uh, Secret tunnels, stuff like that, and whoever whoever said uh, there there was somebody in my comments that said if you didn't know the lady who died, she had a secret shortcut to the tunnel. That is false, okay? And I will correct you right now. Tick never had a secret tunnel to the Glowwood, and the reason why I know that's false is because. When she died, she had made a post about Glofer coming back so she could finish her logo. Because Glofer was part of the winter event of 2016. May have been a different year. But <clears throat> the point is, she died before that tunnel was made. Like, the idea of the tunnel was there, but the actual glofer and stuff being down there, that's done just for her. That's not done like before the fact that she she passed away. And for those of you who were asking how she passed away, um I believe it was a brain brain the it was a brain bleed. Her uh her brain actually started swelling, swelling, swelling and she just died. Um medical causes, don't know the details. But we do know that she she had been complaining about headaches just the week prior. Like, normally she'd take a nap or something, wake up, and one day the headache just didn't go away. So. So that's a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. I hope you enjoyed, <clears throat> or not, either way. Oh. There's not more out here, is there? No, it's just this little peninsula. Okay. <laughs> you know what I really need to do? I need to somehow find a way to get a sled over here. And then I could just turn the sled upside down, sit in it, and then see through these rocks. Actually, wait, we can. We can see through the rocks. Well, it seems that the uh, OBS has crashed once again. Oh gosh, that looks weird with the filters. You guys can actually see. <laughs> this, is, this is my wall on this side. Anyhow, stay, stay focused. Um, I do want to apologize if it sounded like I was yelling at anybody. I, I don't mean to sound like I was yelling. I'm passionate about it. I'm very, I'm very passionate about lumber, and I'm very upset to see what's happened to the game. That's it. That's that's what it comes down to. It's one of the reasons I, I can't stand to play it. It's one of the reasons I, I want to go play other things. Like, I can't, I can't get stuck in that anymore. Anyhow, from the reaction that I've seen of your guys' of the video that happened yesterday, or, yeah, yesterday, today, it just, you guys are still longing for lumber videos. So, I, once a week, maybe do it on Mondays or something like that, but I want to continue playing the stuff that I like. Like Stanley Parable and stuff like that. So, um, by the way, it, the the last little part on that video that you just saw, um, where I was running around, I actually looked inside all the walls and all the stuff, and there there wasn't anything in there. So, 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I suppose to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Gosh, how many times have I said that? By the way, huge shout out to Korean Confusion uh, for being our latest member and their name will be showing up here just on the, uh, the outro. And if you guys want your name on the outro, I will try and keep up with the list of members. It's $5 a month and you get special little icons for like live streams and stuff like that. There's not too many perks that I've got. There's no behind the scenes stuff. I should do some behind the scenes stuff. Maybe even like a Patreon or something like that. But no, that's extra work. I don't want to do extra work. <laughs> I just want to play video games. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Oh, <laughs>